to be good. Nice. So, um, yes. Um, would you please um, introduce yourself a little bit? Tell us a little bit about yourself and um, what was the main um, artistic idea behind a sketch you sent and we worked on? Mm -hmm. So my name is Mirta Nizami. I'm uh, based in the Netherlands the last five years, but uh, I'm coming from Greece. Um, I've had... Uh, uh, studies on uh, music composition and music theory in the past and uh, piano and um, uh, for this uh, specific occasion I applied with this uh, series of little sketches with the title vis-a-vis -vis, um, inspired by paintings uh, by a specific actually painter um, Hubert Schaibel he is an Austrian painter he has really um, thoughtful uh, uh, multi-layered uh, compositions of colors and um, um, he what, what I find really impressive is by without defining a specific shape through all the shadings he he gives impressions of what could be so at, at the end is quite open what actually someone sees mm -hmm. and uh, from this I find really important the fact that um, these paintings make, make sense if you understand them as totality with all the different layers of colors and shades that they are present, even though that they're not the protagonists, let's say, at the same time. Mm -hmm. We usually have in portrait paintings. So the idea of this piece was that, uh, um, th that this comparison and relation of different layers actually can project an original idea, but not defining or putting it in like a said that this is about or this is the idea mm -hmm. the musical idea and uh, the title uh, in a uh, literal um, translation vis-a-vis -vis means face to face when two things or more they're in opposition to each other um, and uh, I applied with this uh, a series of sketches with everything each of them they had a different character different material and the idea was to make short pieces for ensemble, specifically for flute, clarinet, uh, viola, cello, and piano. However, and uh, during the the guidance, uh, uh, your guidance, Milica, and I really thank you for that. It was that we you guide me in a way to see the potential of the first one, which um, at the end apparently didn't seem to fit in the format of a short piece because it seemed that needed more time. So the idea, the preset idea that I had about short pieces apparently didn't fit with this original. At the end, the plan uh, followed the need of the music and uh, we worked during the three last sessions on the first sketch and um, we went a little bit deeper on how this idea could apply on the piece and on the material that I already sent you. So, um, Basically, there is economy of what is used in the piece and uh, based on understanding what exists, the opposites derive from that. And um, that could mean also in terms of dynamics, for example, which was something that we talked quite extensively about uh, during the meetings. Mm -hmm. We also gave me this uh, uh, insight about your uh, the piece that you wrote in the past about the dynamics with the voice that as I told you, for me, it was very inspiring because it's also like uh, understanding. It's like a sound walk at the same time when you are walking and your attention is not placed on you. Are, you, are, you really need to give the focus inside the totality, inside the surroundings. If, for example, the whole sound environment gets softer, suddenly you could hear sounds like um, the birds flying, for example, or really, really subtle sounds that actually we don't preserve when we don't perceive them. So uh, this put me a little bit more suspicious about how to choose dynamics. And it's not about the massive of density of information, but it's also about giving the right space and balance and relations. And um, this, I have to say, that was one of the big, let's say, discoveries that I really said, okay, 
this should be something that I should keep in mind from now on, not only for this piece, but in generally. And, um, and in this way comes also closer to the idea that I had about depth, like in the idea of the impression that I had from this painter that I mentioned before. And um, in this way, we, I, I'm attempting, attempting to create a kind of uh, multi-layered uh, composition, but not mm -hmm. through density, but from pers per perception of things that are happening at the same time. And another thing that comes and fit to this, with, uh, also along with the dynamics, is of course the time and temporalities of things. How when one material can be opposed to another one, while might be almost the same, but in different kinds of expression of time. So um, the manipulation of time uh, can result also economy that fits also to the idea but it uh, can bridge different kind of perceptions of time. Um, yeah, I think uh, if I can, if I condense everything together, I could say that this would be the core things about this. Wow. Yes. Thank you very, very much. This is, um, this is very, very moving. And I'm, I'm happy that I could um, give you something and uh, uh, maybe uh, inspire you to to look at things from different angle or from different side or just think a little bit differently about them because I really liked the idea when you when you proposed your your um, project and uh, I saw the sketch I really liked the idea of um, short pieces of miniatures mm -hmm. because um, somehow I, I I I felt connection because that's something that um, I. Um, I'm occupied with uh, at the moment and I uh, have a lot of fun writing uh, my kind of miniatures that are not uh, extremely short but it's uh, I, I see miniature in we, we talked about that in a in a different way yeah. and then I saw I, I saw your sketches and yes that's that's true they're, uh, they're, they're these uh, short pieces or ideas for for the pieces but somehow I, I felt that there was a potential uh, for for much more and some of the materials are very suitable for something to be short and and condensed but some of the materials like the first one that we mm -hmm. focused on it had so much to give and then I thought oh, okay um we were discussing this maybe it's it's really I'm, I'm, I'm glad that uh I didn't. I didn't want to impose something on you and say, "Oh no, this is how it should be," but um, in the end, I'm, I'm glad that um, it turned out to be something that uh, you also found found interesting is to see the, the the full potential of the of the idea, because sometimes you know you you have plenty of ideas and. Um, you know, sometimes we struggle to to find one, and this is where we need to learn what to do with them. So um, this is what what I keep repeating is that if there is an idea, try to see it from all angles. Try to 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 throw it and 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 you know juggle a little bit and and to spin it a little bit around and see see it in different light from from different sides and uh, try to use the maximum potential your idea and then maybe it doesn't work in the end but but you try it but maybe it just opens another way or or another window and say oh okay and sometimes materials or you may may call them as, as you wish. You may call them ideas, materials, musical objects, uh, kernels, whatever. But sometimes they need some time to open and to 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 develop and to um, flourish. And we need to try and give this music time that's needed. Some materials don't. Some materials are. Um, self-sufficient as they are like there and that's great if you're if you're writing miniatures but I think you can you can do both and I'm I'm happy um with um how much you achieved during this this weeks working on one one idea I think you did a 
great job there. Glad to hear that. Very glad to hear that. <laughs> Yeah, yes. because uh, as you said, it's um, I came a little bit uh, with a preconception that this is what I want to do, but then it's not about the intention behind. It's also about what the what the music needs. And I sometimes it's about music. have a little bit of another angle to see that ah yeah, maybe because you, you know I I didn't want to to. Uh, to impose something on you and say, no, 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 this is what you're going to write. Mm -hmm. um, no, you, you had a... No, no, no. <laughs> because you, you had a great idea, but some, somehow I thought, oh, yes, these things, they, they work for this, but this could do something else. So um, I'm glad we could we could tackle both of them. And I'm, I'm very happy that you don't feel that you went away from the idea because you mentioned that there are still these... Uh, shades and 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 hit in in layers and hidden shades that 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 um they can be connected to to these paintings um and um i'm very excited uh to see how are you going to de develop that to the end i would be very curious to to hear it yeah me too <laughs> still on uh, the working process but uh, yes, yes. Hopefully, but... I will have uh, the opportunity to hear it and finish it first, of course. Yes. But, uh, I think now it's on a in a mindset that uh, I feel that the path is clear towards where I should uh, get right. myself in decision making. So, I think the the core things that we we discussed already, I think, made this path of thinking quite clear for me. Great. I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. And um, would you like to, to add something? Uh... I would like to add thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely this one. Thank it's you. It's a, a great pleasure. Because it was, uh, a, I find very important, the belief on that. Because I might sometimes, all, everyone, when you do from your side, yes. your angle, sometimes you don't really believe or you yes. don't really see or you are worried or afraid to do something but that's business. normal that's good but with yeah what it was important that uh, with this kind of talks that we had it was quite inspiring and supporting to to go for that it's a great it pleasure really refreshing for my for my thinking when i was working i was feeling really into that i'm, I'm very happy and i'm very grateful yeah. for, for for the feedback and I'm happy that it had this uh, this result because I really meant it. And and I also want to thank you for your music and for this exchange because it was a real pleasure working with yeah. you. It's it was always a, it was always fun and it was you know also when when one thinks about other people's music and uh, tries to um, put themselves in in other people's shoes, it also mm -hmm. they learn something about themselves. So um, I also. Um, got something from you and I'm very grateful for that it was a great experience thank you even better to hear that too <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you. thank you very much